everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Rufaro if you see me for the first time hey welcome I hope that you like what you see and you're here to stay do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content if you're a returning subscriber shout out to you <laughs> I hope that you had an awesome week okay like the title says today we're going to be talking about how to start a YouTube channel on a budget if you've been watching any of my most recent videos, I spoke about how for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be talking about how to start your own YouTube channel and grow it. It took me months to start this channel because I was worried that I didn't have the perfect list in terms of equipment or all, all the things that I needed for me to start this channel. We definitely don't come from the same background and equipment in Africa does not come cheap. So it really took me a while to sort of figure out, so how am I going to do this? So I'm just going to be sharing with you some of the things that I've been doing for the past couple of months whilst I'm looking for that coin, for that money to be able to buy the equipment that I need to produce even better video. These days, cell phones work just as good as some really nice digital cameras. So you can actually just start making your videos using your phone. Okay, so right now I'm actually shooting this video and I've been doing it for the past couple of months using a Huawei P20 Lite. <gasps> yes, guys. That is what I'm using right now. And um, I don't even know if they actually still make those phones anymore. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know in the comments <laughs> if they actually still make these phones and if they even still provide support for this phone because it's really an old phone. It's an old model, but it works just as good. So like I said, these days you actually do not need to have a professional camera for you to be able to start your own YouTube channel and shoot your videos. The back camera of your phone takes the best video. So you find that when you're actually shooting your videos, if you compare the front camera and the back camera, the back camera always gives you the best in terms of quality. And your back camera plus good lighting equals magic. That's like, that is where the magic happens. It's almost perfect and it's really good and it still gives you good quality in terms of your videos. You don't need a professional camera right from the beginning for you to start your YouTube channels, but especially if you're not even really sure if this is what you wanna do. I've always loved creating visual content, so definitely this is right up my alley in terms of the things that I like to do. So if you're not quite sure if this is what you want to do, so definitely starting small and it's just using the resources that you have at this point in time will work better for you. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is good lighting. Like, oh my God, that is like the real McCoy. It's like the magic formula that just makes things work. If you do not have a ring light right now, when you don't have studio lights, you can actually just use a natural lighting. That is what I'm using now. And from what I've seen in terms of the research that I've done as well, it actually makes your skin look fairer and smooth and it actually makes all the colors around you pop. All you have to do is make sure that you've got access to a big window that brings in as much light as possible into your space. And the awesome thing about it is that it's free. You don't even need to pay for it. One challenge that I have actually faced because I don't have ring lights is the fact that I can only shoot my videos during the day. So if you're someone that goes to work or you've got school or you've got other things that you do during the course of the day and your only free time is in the evening, the natural lighting is not going to work for you. So you'll need to purchase ring lights or you need to get studio lights for you to be able to do that at night. It's really important to make sure that your phone is stable or your camera is stable when you're starting out. So if you actually do not have a phone holder like me, I don't have a phone holder, I don't have a tripod, I don't have any type of stand that helps me to keep my phone steady. So I use books. I stack my books on an ironing board. Yeah, that's what I do. And I make sure that I get the right height and the right distance so that I can be able to take my videos and show whatever it is that I want to show, but me making sure that the phone is steady and it doesn't fall. And I use like a jewelry box. I mean, if you're going to be doing this, whatever it is that you need to make things work, grab a shoe, I don't know, grab a makeup case <laughs> to make sure that you're able to do this. There has been a lot of trial and error, which I'm sure you'll go through, even if you're using a stand to make sure that you get the right height and the right distance, depending on the type of video that you're actually going to be 
you know taking or recording oh wow if you're still watching you're awesome and it, i think i'm making sense so it means that i am making sense if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything new and yeah let's get on to the next backdrops 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 i hear every other youtuber talking about how you need a nice backdrop or a nice background i do believe that actually does have an impact because when people are not looking at me or they're not looking at you they're looking at what's behind you or what's behind me right now and this is my backdrop and this will have to work for now i'll spruce it up when i can i am not leaving my house to go and buy any fairy lights because it's lockdown and i'm just trying to make sure that i stay safe i've actually tried a few things that didn't work out i would go into a little corner and shoot it from there i tried standing in front of my closet it didn't actually work and for me this is the only space in my house or in my apartment that i can actually shoot a video if i try to do it in the lounge or on the balcony or in the kitchen or any other room that we have in our apartment it will actually not work out i've got little kids and they'll be running around and making noise so it will be very difficult for me to be able to shoot video this is the only space that i have so you just have to work with what you have if you really want a colorful backdrop you can actually just buy fabric you can go to the nearest fabric store or you can order it online i don't know how it works in your country or where you're from and you can buy it stretchy fabric i realized that it actually does work better because it's got less wrinkles and it requires less ironing and steaming to make sure that it's really nice and it's not creased and most of the wrinkles and the creases actually just sort of disappear when you're pulling the fabric and you're putting it up on books or you're using pegs or whatever it is that you're going to be using for you to be able to put up your backdrop another cute tip that i absolutely love is the fact that you can use bed sheets yeah if you don't have money to buy fabric or buy fairy lights or to have a nice you know a nice cute background you can actually just use your bed sheets you can use white bed sheets pink a light shade of yellow i think light shades work better than dark ones i don't know guys you tell me in the comments which one works better but definitely you can use your bed sheets as well to be able to do that when you're first starting out if you don't have a mic or a lapel for you to be able to have good quality sound in your videos when you're starting out you shouldn't really have to worry about that one thing that i've seen that really does work for me is that i close all the windows and i put a blanket like at the door to make sure that there's no outside noise coming in so i'll be able to block out noise from the neighbors from my kids from the tv or anything else that is happening outside of this room and that works and you can also pull your camera closer to you so that you don't sound like a shouting <laughs> and it doesn't sound like you're about to i don't know crack your voice box from all the talking so definitely if you've got access to a mic or a lapel that is awesome stuff but if you don't have i believe that you can just start with what you have and make it work like i said in this video you don't need to have a laptop for you to be able to edit your videos your phone can work just as well there are lots of mobile apps that you can download on play store or on google store that can help you to be able to edit your videos there's time master or is it kinemaster iMovie final cut pro i use adobe premiere pro to edit all my videos i tried final cut pro and i must say it was a bit challenging for me i don't know why and premiere pro just sort of grew on me and you realize that if you're someone that likes fancy graphics and transitions those can get really pricey but if you're working on a budget and you just want to record your youtube videos on a budget then there are lots of free templates that you can use just need to be careful whether they're copyright free or if they are one use type of templates and you don't get yourself into trouble for me because i use premiere pro i love mixkit mixkit just helps you to be able to download like free templates that you can use in terms of your colors and transitions and all the nice cool stuff that you can put in your video like this one right here i got this from mixkit and it's for free youtube is also a search engine so you can actually go on youtube and type in 
free templates for Final Cut Pro or for Adobe Premiere Pro or whatever editing software that you use. I'm sure you find lots of stuff that you can actually use and lots of templates that you can download and be able to use in your videos. Canva is also a really great option if you're looking for nice, fun, cool stuff, whether it's emojis or clip parts or little images and little vibes that you can easily just sort of slide into your videos. It helps with that and you can use Canva both on your laptop or on your mobile phone. Another thing that I really believe is important is making sure that you've got a viewfinder when you're shooting your videos. The viewfinder is just like your laptop or any other gadget or device that you can use to be able to cast what is what you're recording on your phone or your digital camera and then be able to put it elsewhere so that you can be able to see. Like for me, when I first started, because I did not know that I could download apps to help me with that, I was using my mirror. Yep, I used my mirror. I'll place my mirror like behind my camera, behind my phone, and be able to see what I'm doing so that I make sure that I'm not out of focus. If there's something that's not looking right, I can be able to fix it properly, all those type of things. So right now I'm using high suits and I'm using it to cast it from my phone to my laptop. You can actually do that as well. You can look for something that helps you to be able to cast from your gadget to another device. So in terms of producing content, you're thinking, okay, fine, I can use my phone and I can use natural lighting because it's for free, but what do I do when I wanna make like nice, cute YouTube videos and I don't have money to buy products? Or I wanna do clothing hauls, but I don't have money to be actually to be going on Amazon or Fashion Nova and all those other popular brands or other popular stores for me to be able to do that. Well, I understand you and I feel you. I trust me, I get it. In terms of, you know, if you want to do beauty tutorials, just use the products that you have. You can have your own, you know, nice little cute title that says how to look good or put on makeup on a budget. Even if you've got five products, trust me, there are loads of people, there are tons of people that will still love to watch how to watch you do that. If you want to do clothing hauls, you don't necessarily need to do fashion overs, Louis Vuittons and Gucci's, Gucci, Gucci, Gucci's, no. You can go to a thrift store. I've seen like really nice videos that have got thousands of views where someone went to the thrift store and bought something for like 49 cents. And I was shocked, like for 49 cents, you can buy a dress for 49 cents. Yeah, I wish I stayed in America, yeah, but well, we don't have that here in Africa, but definitely you do have like thrift stores where you can actually go and buy cute outfits and you can try them on and people would still love to watch that. Do DIYs, right now turmeric is trending, 4C natural hair is trending, how to do um, knotted braids, I think, I don't know what they're called, yeah. Those things are trending and if people, people would love to do that and right now because of lockdown, people would love to learn how to be able to do things by themselves without having to go to the hair salon. In the end, the important thing is to make sure that you just start. If you waste your time trying to seek validation from people, trying to keep up with the trends, you might actually never really make it. And people are going to talk about you anyway. And you shouldn't discourage yourself because you feel like you don't have the perfect lips in terms of equipment. I've seen lots of YouTubers that tell us that, you know, they first started off using their phone or they were in a little corner somewhere before they even had a studio. But over time, they were able to build those resources and be able to buy the nice gadgets and stuff like that. And you know what? If I already have a digital camera and fancy studio lights, then I don't even have an opportunity to do an unboxing video. Yeah? So in the, the next month or the next two months, if I buy like studio equipment, I can do an unboxing video. And that's content right there. Anyway, please tell me what you think of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I just wanted to share my experience as a small YouTuber and starting out. And I know a lot of people out there are thinking, okay, we come from very different backgrounds and I can't afford that and that and that and that. But I really want to do this. So here I am. Do share your feedback in the comments and share the video with anyone that you believe might actually benefit from this. Don't forget to like the video. That's how I know that you enjoyed it. Do subscribe to the channel because it helps the channel to grow. So thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one. Cause I was something deeper.